We've always been told the hardest animal to kill are cockroaches, and they've been on Earth for about 300 million years. These guys even survived the dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago, and they were able to continue living. But in this video, we want to introduce you to an animal that not only is it one of the oldest living things, but it is for sure the hardest animal to kill. Water bear, or another word, tardigrade. What does this thing have to do with bears that is the water version? Do you see the way it looks? It kind of resembles a bear and that is why they call it that. The reason it's called the water bear because it prefers to live in water. But you could also find water bears on land. It doesn't have to be water. Tardigrades or water bears are an extremely unique animal because there's nothing like it. And you can't find any animal that's similar to tardigrades or comes from the same family. There are different tardigrades throughout the world and they look a little bit different from one another. But they're not that different. The size of the tardigrade is usually under half a millimeter and this little guy has eight legs. And that's one of the weirdest things that an animal this size has eight legs. When you look at tardigrade photos, it looks like a brown bear. But when you actually take a look under the microscope and see the real deal, you see that the body is transparent and you can see the insides of the entire body. You can even see the cells inside the body. Anywhere that there is a drop of water, you could find tardigrades living in there. It's so small that even drops of water around the world, there could be tardigrades living inside it and we wouldn't even know. For the tardigrade, that little bit of water is like a sea. But what would happen if this little bit of water dries up? There is no problem for the water bear. This is the reason they call it the most extreme animal. You can't find the place on planet Earth that the tardigrade won't survive because it could adapt with the environment extremely quickly. You could find them in the North Pole, in the equator, and in Antarctica. Even though tardigrades live in water, but they're not great swimmers. The place where you can find plenty of these little guys is in fresh water, especially the ones with plants and algae inside the water. Water bears love algae and it's one of the best foods for it. If you have a pool that hasn't had its water exchanged and algae is growing, you're going to have some water bears living in there. Except algae or other plants inside fresh water, tardigrades eat something else. And that's single cell organism because it's bigger than them. Tardigrades are extremely cute but there is a version of them that are more cute than the other ones. The ones that have eyes. The black dot you're seeing is its eyes, but that eye is made up of one cell. If you want to compare it to a human eye, you have to know that one eyeball has over a hundred million cells, but the entire body of the water bear doesn't even break 10,000 most of the time. The ones with the eyes is for sure the coolest ones. Tardigrades are known as cute animals around the world. Tardigrades also shed their skins, and that's once in a while, especially when they get a little bit bigger. Some female water bears lay their eggs inside the skin and shed it with the eggs inside there and that allows the eggs to be a little bit more safe throughout the environment. When a tardigrade is born, it has the same amount of cells to when it grows up, but the newborn has tiny cells and throughout its life, the cells grow and up next, the tardigrade itself grows, but the amount of cells never grows, unlike most animals in the world. The brown dot you're seeing is basically its stomach and just like every living thing, when it consumes all the nutrition of the food, it basically lets go of the waste. But what makes water bears so interesting and why are they so famous around the world? Because of how extreme they are. The test that this animal has passed 
left every scientist in shock. Water bear can survive at down as negative 272 degrees centigrade. And even if you put it in hot boiling water inside your tea kettle, it's still gonna survive because it has 50 more degrees to go. Tardigrades can survive up to 150 degrees centigrade. That's insane. Think about it. Minus 272 degrees till 150 degrees centigrade. This is why it's called the most extreme animal in the world. NASA has even sent water bears to space to see what would happen if you take them inside the vacuum. They took them inside the vacuum and after a few hours, they returned them to the laboratory in the station and started running some tests. They noticed nothing happened to them and they're still alive and this truly shocked everybody. You can't find another animal that could stay alive in the vacuum of space. In the vacuum of space, not only is there tremendous amount of pressure, but there is a lot of radiation from the sun and other space radiations and no living thing will be able to survive inside the vacuum of space, except the water bear. But there's a huge question here. How did this animal get away with it and it survives? In that freezing temperature, in that hot temperature, worst of all, in the vacuum of space. The way the tardigrade body works is amazing because if it notices danger where it's not going to survive, it turns its metabolism down to 0.01% and that basically puts the animal in a coma but it's still alive. Since the environment is not ready for it to come back, it closes the curtains and takes a nap until the environment gets better. When the tardigrade does this to its metabolism, if you see it, everybody would think it's dead because it doesn't move whatsoever but they are still alive and if you make that environment livable again, the tardigrade will come back to life and start living again. This is one of the ways it survives extreme places, but it's not the only way. For different situations, it has different solutions. Like for example, if a tardigrade is found in an environment where all the water dries out, it takes the sugar inside its body and start turning it into water and that allows it to stay alive until more water shows up. Tardigrades also have another system and that's for places where there is a lack of oxygen this time, it also turns the power of its body off and stays there like a dead insect. But in reality, it's alive and it's just waiting for the oxygen to return so it can come back to life. Even though water bears are a master at surviving and they could survive the most extreme temperatures, but they are not immortal and you could easily kill them yourself. It's also a great food source for other living things, especially rounded worms. And one of its main food sources are tardigrades. It could survive the most extreme temperatures in places, but compared to this worm, it doesn't have anything to say and it will be defeated. If bigger water bears get hungry, they will eat the smaller ones. How long do tardigrades live for anyway? Based on its size, it has an extremely long life. Tiny animals usually don't have a long lifespan, but water bears could survive up to 30 years. But that's if it doesn't get attacked. Just like every living thing on the planet, water bears just wants an easy life and an easy place to live where there's no danger and there's plenty of food. But unfortunately, you can't always have a good life, just like every living thing, including humans. There is a chance you could be well off or you could be in a terrible situation where you can get killed easily. Lake. But what are the bad things about water bears? You could find them in lakes and fresh waters. You could find them in algae, in the mud, in the sand. What's the bad thing about it? We have to say that it's nothing. It doesn't do anything bad for us or the environment. And it being alive helps other living animals. It's the food for these worms. It gets rid of a lot of single cell organisms because it eats them. That is one of the main reasons that water bears have survived the planet for such a long time. Because it doesn't really bother anybody. And lives its life. These little water bears with those tiny eyes have seen animals that when they move, they would make the ground shake. Those all died. 
but this little guy is still alive and well. It has been 500 million years since water bears lived on Earth, and it's considered one of the oldest animals on the planet. 